Senator, let me play you something that J.D. Vance had to say. He made headlines this week by saying the way to deal with this issue is to focus in part on school security. Take a look. You've got some states that don't have strict gun laws at all. And the states with strict gun laws, they have a lot of school shootings. And the states without strict gun laws, some of them have school shootings too. So clearly strict gun laws is not the thing that is going to solve this problem. What is going to solve this problem, and I, and I really do believe this, is look, I, I don't like this. I don't like to admit this. I don't like that this is a fact of life. But if, you're, if you are a psycho and you want to make headlines, you realize that our schools are soft targets. And we have got to bolster security at our schools. <clears throat> Senator, as you know, he is expressing the opinion of a lot of folks across this country. What's your response to hearing that? Listen, J.D. Vance claims that uh, this kind of random, routine carnage is a fact of life. No, it's not. It's a fact of American life. This, again, is a tragic form of American exceptionalism. Nowhere else in the world uh, do you have a country that's not at war. Do you see this kind of violence? And so we have to ask ourselves. We have to engage in serious soul-searching as Americans. Why does this, why does this happen here? There, there are people who who uh, are, are uh, given to violence <clears throat> in other countries. Uh, I hate it when people, people malign the mentally ill because most of them are not a danger to us, but there are people who are mentally sick in other countries. There are children who are troubled in other countries. This, this only happens here. Sen Senator it's the guns. Senator Lenny and, and, and those who want to make this, yes. Let me ask you quickly. This, this, this is not a debate between those who, who believe in the Second Amendment and those who don't. don't. It is to the gun lobby's advantage that this has become a kind of culture war. It, it, it's like saying in another time that those who want uh, seat belts are against the freedom of being on the road. Uh, in, in hindsight, we, we understand how ridiculous that argument would be. We need to put forward reasonable gun safety laws, and uh, that's the least we can do for our children. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.